So whilst you're at home, we thought we would read you a story of Around the World in 80 Days. To go with our topic, The World Around Me. So if you're ready, let's start. Around the World in 80 Days. Phileas Fogg was a man of mystery who lived in a large house in London. Phileas Fogg was a man of impeccable habits and he had a large timetable hung in his house. At exactly 8.23 in the morning, Phileas Fogg would have his tea and toast. At precisely 9.37, he was brought to shaving water, ready to start his day. One day, Phileas and his friends were arguing about the size of the world. Phileas said, If you can travel around the world in 80 days. His friends all laughed. 80 days, that's impossible. Phileas said, I'll prove it. And he bet £20,000 that he could. So Phileas and his butler passed for two packed their bags and off they went on their adventure around the world. Phileas boarded a train and headed to Paris, then to Egypt where Phileas was mistaken for a bank robber. From Egypt they finally boarded the plane and headed to India. In India, Phileas and his butler explored the jungle and even rescued a princess by riding on the back of an elephant. After riding the elephant and saving the princess, they managed to board a boat headed towards China. The boat ride was rough from stormy weather, rocking them back and forth as the typhoon lashed out at the boat. From China, Phileas and his friends escaped the policeman and boarded another boat heading to Japan. The bad weather struck again, and this time it separated Phileas and his butler. Whilst waiting for his butler, Phileas decided to go and watch the circus with his princess boat. And look, they found Passport 2, forming in the circus. Just in time to board the hot air balloon headed to the United States of America. After a long flying journey in their hot air balloon, they finally landed in San Francisco. Then, Phileas Fogg, Passport 2 and their princess friends journeyed across America. As they journeyed through America on a train, they passed some Native Americans riding their horses alongside. Before arriving in New York City, which was covered in snow. Phileas panicked that time was running out, so he paid a sailor to take him back to England, but they only made it so far. Phileas finally arrived in Ireland, but still had to rush to London. Before boarding his last boat to England, there was no time to spare, so Phileas and his friends boarded a speedy train and headed straight to London to finish his bet. Phileas made it just in time to win the bet. Phileas and his friends cheered they prove that you can travel around the world in 80 days. The end.